Hello, my name is Dr. Anna Maria Mihaicha. Welcome to this episode of Truth, Science, and Spirit. In this episode, I would like to explain the self-assembly mechanism of the filaments and the construction sites that I have seen in human blood. A lot of people are speculating about this. They're calling them parasites, funguses, um, graphene, all kinds of things. So today I'm not going to review all the literature. I've done that in other places. But I just want to review the mechanism of how this technology that is polymer-based uh, assembles itself and uh, what that looks like. So I have a medical clinic and I do dark field live blood analysis all the time. I follow people longitudinally so I can see what interventions have worked and uh, compared to previous live blood analysis. And uh, the other thing is that th I do this a lot and I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of, of, of patients that I've uh, looked at their blood. So from this, I've um, compiled a pretty good idea with very careful observation on how uh, this um, technology assembles. So I'm going to share my screen. Here, these are not air bubbles. You see that they're absolutely, uh, uh, you know, round. They're, they're almost perfect. So this is blood, and this is all construction sites in different uh, sizes, and literally from, uh, you know, these, these um, larger spheres, the smaller ones emerge. It's exactly the way I've seen it in the uh, embalmed blood. You can see all of these little things are, are in the process of building something, a structure. Um, and here you can see a video of them being filled and how they have built a mesh network. So all of these are these, these uh, spherical um, uh, objects, and then you can see that, that the littler ones are literally uh, in chains, and they're connecting to each other. So all of this, if we wait, uh, eventually this will develop into a rubbery, a rubbery clot or uh, build these more solid structures of hydrogel. But you can see that, that much of the blood is being replaced by uh, those round construction sites. So now we get to different features of what this can look like. So what you see here, this is uh, the 10, uh, 100 times magnification. You can see that the blood is in rollo formation. You see here what looks like air bubbles, but they're not. They're construction sites, and you see what they're building. Here in the center is large amorphous structures. So this is exactly what Ephlopraconic and I have uh, identified with near-infrared spectroscopy as having polyvinyl alcohol, which is plastic, polyamide, which is nylon, uh, and polyethylene uh, chemical signatures. Um, so again, you can see that the there are uh, these spherical areas that are in the process of developing these solid structures, and they're using the electricity from the blood that they're transforming. And again, same structure, many small uh, little construction sites that are contributing on the outside. And when you see it being assembled in real time, it looks kind of like a, a bubbling effect that just keeps adding on to the structure. Uh, this is a closer up. It's about 2,000 times magnification. And you can see that, that literally these little tiny bubbles uh, or spheres become part of the structure itself, as does the internal uh, microrobotic here you can see someone highly contaminated. All of my patients that I'm showing here are unvaccinated. 
And uh, I mean, these are huge construction sites. And the reason why I'm warning about this is I see a lot of unvaccinated people now, younger and younger, with uh, blood clots and, and um, uh, you know, strokes and showering strokes, meaning not just in one spot, but literally, uh, you know, m multiple strokes at once. So it's very concerning. Um, again, you can see many of the spheres, and this just, uh, it's just, it's like a never ending uh, construction zone. Here, you see the filamental structures, the many little spheres that are part of it. Again, this is uh, what people are calling parasites. No, it's not. This is advanced nanotechnology. Uh, it, it has nothing to do uh, with parasites. 